Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. So I'm talking about two things tonight. First, the comet. It is out there tonight. It's really impossible to see with the naked eye. You're going to need some binoculars. Where do you look? Well, look north. So you can see this is looking north. There's the moon. Uh, there's Capella, the North Star. There's Mars. Um, if you look up there just below Capella, which is visible, I could, I could see Capella pretty easily. It's a good reference point. That's where you're going to look. And again, I would just take my camera and my binoculars and search in this area right there. If you zoom in carefully on this program, which is Stellarium, you can kind of see it there. But you could see as you get farther away, and this is your field of view as a human, you're not going to see it. Just to give you some idea, here are the constellations, if you're not familiar with them. So you've got Ursa Minor, which is the Little Dipper. The Big Dipper is over here. Um, Taurus is going to be near uh, Mars tonight. There's Orion. There's the moon, Gemini. There's Perseus there. So um, you can see just below Capella. So if you look in that area, that's where to look. Next thing, okay, we've got this Chinese spy, uh, spy balloon, right? That's possibly going to pass overhead tomorrow. I'm getting a lot of questions about it. Could we see it? Yes, but it's kind of a crapshoot, I'll be honest with you. Based on the wind flow right now, the last spotting was somewhere over the middle Mississippi River Valley. The winds would take it over the Carolinas sometime tomorrow morning into the early afternoon. It could be anywhere from the Virginia border down into Georgia. Um, we can't physically track it because it's not actually sending any signals out so there's a couple sneaky ways to kind of track it so i'm looking at the weather balloons which are launched twice a day and i'm looking where they're floating tonight you can see the one from nashville is coming southeast the one from greensboro moves southeast the one from peachtree city moves southeast so if you get an idea you get an idea of the general flow if there's a balloon somewhere high altitude balloon which we know there is it's a chinese spy balloon it's going to be drifting in this direction tomorrow which means if it's coming this way, it could be over the Carolinas. There's me. That's the blue me over Charlotte, North Carolina. So it's going to be somewhere in there. There's another way to track it because even though we're not tracking it, guess who is? The military. So I pull up a program like this. If you don't know um, ABS Exchange, it's great. Sorry for the ads. I'm not paying for a service. I'm tracking actually one of the military aircraft, which is tracking the balloon. You could see it's been tracking it over Missouri today. And where is it circling right now? Western Tennessee. So even though I don't know where the balloon is, I can see where our current military is tracking it. So we've got an aircraft. It's a, a, a huge, it looks like a U.S. Oh, it's Air Force. It looks like an Air Force uh, Boeing RC-13U, which is basically a surveillance aircraft. And you can see it is circling over western parts of Tennessee right now, west of Nashville. We'll look at this plane. It's, it's, you know, none of these are circling. These are all going somewhere, right? This military aircraft has clearly been circling something, which is likely the Chinese balloon. So tomorrow, if it's over western Tennessee right now, if it was over Missouri, central Missouri, Kansas City this morning, maybe 12 hours ago, that means 12 hours from now, it should be somewhere down in this area. So I'm guessing 9 a.m. to noon tomorrow in the western Carolinas might be worth taking a look. So... Um, I don't know what it's going to look like. It's going to be hard. I have binoculars just like for the comet, but uh, this looks to me, just looking at the track of the military aircraft, which is tracking it, it's coming in this general direction. So that's what I would do tomorrow. So if you're in the Western Carolinas, we should have clear skies. Might be worth taking a look to see if we see it. Um, I might take a look up as well. I'll get my camera out. I already headed out tonight trying to take pictures of the comet. I'm actually going to look at those right now. We'll see if we see them, but just wanted to do a quick video on tracking both the comet and maybe this Chinese spy balloon tomorrow. <laughs>